Welcome back guys, it's Mori here and on today's video we are going to be conquering the brand new Gulag here in Season 1 of Keldara. You guys have asked me for some tips on how to win this and fortunately enough this is probably the easiest Gulag we've had in a long time. So as always I'm going to be committing suicide over and over and over heading straight to that Gulag so you guys can see exactly how to win. Fucking nailed that one Hirsch. Alrighty guys, you know the drill. I have put do not fill on because I don't want to ruin everyone's game. I'm just going to play on my own. We're going to commit suicide over and over. Face meet ground and ground meet face. And now we go to the gulag. So the strategy with this one is pretty simple. Obviously you can see it's a perfect circle with a house in the middle. Basically, don't go in the house unless they're hiding in the house. So what you want to do is either go left or right and eliminate locations that they could be just like we've done on every other how to win gulag so what we're going to do is basically if we go around to the right we know that they're either going to be straight in front of us or to our left there is actually if i run around the side you can see a clear view from one door to the other so if we head around to the right we can actually tell whether they have come this way because we will see them pass this door here or vice versa, if they go from this side, they pass here, we will see them from here passing there. So if we don't see them cross, then we know what's happening. You can also see their silhouette, right? If they're looking one way or the other, you can kind of see. So right now, I just saw him. There we go. And that is a win for us. So basically what you're doing is running around to the side, checking that they're not in front of you, then turning to the right to see if you cro see them cross, like if they're mirroring you basically. If they cross to your side of the map, you know where they are and then you can hunt them down. If they're in the middle, good chance is you will see them in the middle like I just saw that guy going to cross through the center. Now let's uh, leave the game commit suicide and do it all again so what i want to try and do guys is basically give you guys the exact same game over and over and over and show you just how you can do it consistently and how you can basically do it the same way every single time so we're either going to spawn here or we're going to spawn there basically run to the halfway and look straight through the center that's effectively the entire strategy they're either going to be straight ahead of us or they're going to be opposite us you know, they could be hiding in this corner if you don't see them cross then you know where they are also look at their silhouette because you can kind of tell which direction they may run i think this guy might mirror me nope. so i checked that he wasn't in front of me checked the center heard that he had already crossed the center and that's how i knew he was on my left all righty guys let's go left just for a change of pace yeah See? So I look straight forward, and you can tell whether they're coming around the corner before you get to the door. So if you don't see them, they would have already come around the corner, which means they have to be to your right somewhere. So just look through the door. Jimbo! I like this school lug. I feel like it's fun. Last, last season with four different maps was just chaos, in my opinion. Like, just keep it simple. One map... You know, the average player who gets home from work, who jumps on for a couple of hours, does not need four different Gulag maps to try and work out what the hell is going on, you know what I mean? Oh, Ooh, line. combat shotgun. Well, I'm going to lose this one. Prove you can still fight, soldier. He's in the middle. You got there you go. Dirty. So I actually heard him back on back. the right, but I also checked in front wasn't there, so I was going to look right anyway. You can kind of hear the second they step inside the middle, because you hear the footsteps on the timber floor. All right, I'm going to back myself now and say the fifth and final Gulag win. And that will be the end of this short little video on how to win Gulag. If you guys have enjoyed this one, consider subscribing if you aren't already, especially if I win this next Gulag. If, uh, if I lose the Gulag, you don't have to subscribe, but you should anyway. Ooh, what have I got? The pistol. Throwing knife flash. You can still fight, soldier. Yep, see, I just watched on the right. I know he's here. He's in the middle. Oh shit, I thought that was an automatic pistol. <laughs> it was only one bullet. Whoa, that is it. We have now won 
five matches of the Gulag, and that is going to conclude the video. If you guys enjoyed this one, you want to see future content like this, consider subscribing if you aren't already. And until next time, guys, keep gaming.